Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of different ways that you can fix your Snapchat errors just in case you keep getting some random issues that keep saying Snapchat, you know, oops, something went wrong or whatever the case is. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but to break down, the first portion are pretty much going to be pretty easy fixes. The second portion are going to be things that you can try troubleshooting yourself or they may not even be your issues in general. So the very first thing you want to do in my specific case whenever something like this happens what you want to do is open up your Snapchat. You'll probably, hopefully, get in, not get into that error, but if you do, swipe out of it, multitask out of it, and literally just go back into it and see if that fixed it. If it fixed it, you're set. If it didn't fix it, the next thing I would recommend doing is literally going into your settings app right here, and you want to make sure you are connected to a solid network. First of all, Android, iOS, macOS, Windows, whatever you're on, you have to pretty much be on a network connection or a data connection in general in order to actually use Snapchat. So what you want to do, check on your Wi-Fi, make sure it works, check on your cell signal, make sure that's even working. If both those things look solid, try going into your internet browser and actually trying to see if you can load up a web page. You should be able to successfully go on a web page and everything like that and look at videos, go on YouTube, TikTok, other apps and see if those things are functional. If those things are functional, then you're good. Open up your Snapchat and you should be good to go. If those things aren't working, put your phone in airplane mode, swipe out of the app, go back into it, and then try it again. If that still doesn't work, what I would recommend doing at this point is actually going into your app store. And this is very easy to do. Click on the search bar, click up here, and I would recommend just typing in Snapchat and seeing if there's an update available for your Snapchat app. This is probably the number one thing you can do most of the time to end up fixing this issue. This is something I've seen time and time again that's helped me out. And this is probably what I would recommend a lot of you to do too, is to go ahead and update your specific app and see if that ends up fixing the issue. If it does, you're great. If it doesn't still, if it's still not working, then what I would recommend doing is moving on to the second portion of this video, which is right now, is if your Snapchat is still telling you, oops, something went wrong or something's not working or whatever the case is and you get those visible panels, this may mean that you either have some sort of action block where you've been, you know, kind of been a little bit too spammy on Snapchat or Snapchat servers are down. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but the very first thing is if you try the other things of basically rebooting your phone, airplane mode, all that stuff, and it's still not working, you may want to go ahead and actually see if you've been doing a lot of, you know, things on Snapchat that are, you know, against their violations. If you're not able to post or a Snapchat story or whatever the case is, you may want to see the standing of your account. I would recommend going to your email account or phone number that's associated with your Snapchat account and seeing if you got any emails or any messages about suspicious activity on your Snapchat account. You would be surprised how many Snapchat accounts get, you know, compromised in some way and randomly out of nowhere, they'll just randomly start or stop working or Snapchat may deem them inappropriate and they may just, you know, action block you from sending snaps or anything like that. And that's exactly what I would recommend doing. Checking your email, checking your other sources and seeing if those things, you know, if you got any messages from Snapchat or whatever, typically it doesn't get to this point, but sometimes it can. And that's probably what I would recommend you to do. Now, if that doesn't seem to be the issue and there's pretty much no way in your head that, you know, your account is compromised, what I would recommend doing at this point is either looking in the comment section of this video or searching on other videos that people have made or even going on Twitter and basically scrolling through from the first tweet to the most recent one and seeing if people are commenting at the same time in a, you know, a fast fashion that Snapchat is down. Most of the time, whenever Snapchat is down, people end up going to Twitter or Instagram and saying Snapchat is down. And they especially come to these type of videos. So check in the comment section, sort by the latest comments, see if a lot of people are commenting or check on Twitter. And most of the time, those you know tweets that are coming out just right now, they will probably end up telling you, oh, Snapchat is down. Is it down for anyone else? And from there, you'll pretty much be able to see if Snapchat is actually down for you or for anyone else. So... That's really pretty much it. Those are the main ways to go ahead and fix your Snapchat, you know, with that specific oops error. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I'll every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.